bring up such a good point. Um, yeah, we are so busy trying to do a lot of different things at once. So I'm going to hop onto Zoom and I'm just going to do a few emails in the background. And, and I'm also going to, you know, fill out something that I needed to send off or, you know, we're trying to do five different things at once. And what that does in our brain is our brain is having to work on overdrive to try and manage all those things. And so it's not much wonder we get to the end of the day and you're exhausted. And, you know, if you have family, you have nothing left for, I shouldn't say if you have family, of course, if you have family or connections, like you are, you have a life outside of work and you've drained your energy again, energy management, it's about energy management, not time management. It was always the case before COVID, but now, you know, there's no drive home. There's no commute home to sort of, who kindness, maybe fill up your tank a little bit. It's like a walk down the hall. And, you know, if you have little kids, there's no escaping that. So again, you know, it's in our face and how do we find new practices? I mean, a Zoom is Zoom fit. I get Zoom fatigue is real. I know that there's, you know, brain things that are happening and how we're registering. But, you know, turn off. Like right now, speaking to you, I don't have my self view on. Like if we were doing this live, I wouldn't be looking at myself. So turn off your self view. When you're in a Zoom meeting, shorten it. You don't need an hour meeting. Make it 30 minutes and just be there. Like look at each other and not don't try to do 10 other things. Because if you're trying to do 10 other things, again, your energy is going to go down, just shorten the meeting. So those things, as simple as they sound, are hard to do. And yet they will make a big difference as we try and manage through and manage our energy through this, you know, once in a lifetime event 